Well, we've been actually testing tools and, and we actually offered many of our employees to create their own little labs for a while now. But with all these projects and this, this whole roadmap that we had about formally testing tools and formally setting up environments to make sure that we understand how a tool behaves in our customer's environment, we realized that it's time now to make the new Push Labs concept a formal concept. So we decided to create a dedicated crew and a dedicated space and a dedicated roadmap for new Push Labs and that's how it came to be. So the main focus of new Push Labs is to take uh, all these security areas that we have and make sure that we have a good understanding of the tools and the good understanding of how these security areas evolve. Today there is a list of maybe 17 security areas and it's hard to keep abreast of what's happening in each of them. So we want to make sure that we have a formal process where we can actually have um, uh, right data and maybe I can say that it's the influence of our partnerships with universities like uh, uh, Johns Hopkins and uh, Colorado State University, which is part of the CCAA, where we got a little bit of an impetus that, okay, we need to basically do these lab tests, these, these uh, analysis uh, a little bit more formally and, and how we cooperate with the universities and how we cooperate in research to make sure that, that we, we get up to that level that is the expectation of these very famous, uh, world famous research labs that we're working with. So that, that's kind of a combination of those two. Well, beyond actually testing tools, we are also working on certifications. So, for example, we can get certifications on, on uh, vulnerability scanning tools. So we, we basically have the list of uh, requirements from uh, best of breed security tool vendors, they say, okay, uh, if you would like to get certified on our platform, then you need to basically do this, 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 and this. And so we have on our roadmap to make sure that we get all these certifications, whether it's vulnerability management, threat management, etc. And then the, the other types of tools that we want to get uh, uh, um, tested in the new push labs or the new tools that are coming out, uh, whether it's CASB or, or other new tools around identity management, zero trust, all of that, because many tools have uh, a lot of claims and we want to make sure that those claims are, are well understood by the customers because there's one thing of of what a tool says about themselves, what they can do. And there's it's another situation what they actually can do in a given specific environment. And, and that's always really where the rubber meets the road, right? Where what can that tool do for this specific customer and, and being able to, to do that. So we, we plan to do that with uh, vulnerability management tools, with automated patching tools, with uh, advanced threat detection tools, and so on. Yes, because New Push Labs is still very small and there are aspects of New Push Labs where we don't want to go yet. So I keep repeating that we're uh, really subscribing to this crawl, walk, run approach. But the pressure from customers of what they want us to try is very high and there's a huge roadmap that's already ahead of us. And we welcome partners to actually contribute to some of the research that we do at New Push Labs. And we especially are welcoming uh, some partners that are experts in threat hunting, exper experts in threat simulation uh, to help with uh, our new Push Labs roadmap to ensure that we move very fast in all these areas. Our customers uh, benefit from new Push Labs two ways and they can participate actually. So one way is that we basically take some of the security tools that they have and we test them in new Push Labs to make sure that we have a good understanding of how those tools will behave in their environments when there is a threat or when there is something that changes. So we can simulate you know, either the growth that they're looking at or simulate maybe new tools that they want to implement and, uh, and just have a good understanding uh, of those situations. The other aspect that uh, is important to our customers when they actually want to bring in a new tool and they want to see if that's the right tool for them. So with a combination of the connective platform and its deployment in new push labs, we can actually run in parallel, side by side, several tools and see for a given 
um, type of environment, which tool will behave better, which tool is optimized better. And conversely, if the tool is selected and, and we have a customer who really likes a given tool, we're able to see in a given environment, how do you optimize that tool? What are maybe the drawbacks that you need to pay attention to, to actually overcome uh, you know, some of the configuration tricks that you need to do uh, to, to make sure that that tool will perform well. So these are the kind of things that we do uh, or plan to do for our customers at New Push Labs.